If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Football team is some sort of a mess, but you look okay. I feel Cowboys. great. You all right? I feel great. How about you? you well, yeah, we're okay. We're all right. Well, what the hell happened to you guys this year? I had you guys going to the Super Bowl. I, I had us going there too. <laughs> yeah, right. You, you want to know the same thing, right? Yeah, the last few games, things just fell off. I mean, we were controlling our own destiny and we didn't take advantage of the situation. Is it... it is it too? Is the media making too much over all the locker room strife, or was it? Or was there? Is it really that crazy? I would say, without question, it's been blown out of proportion. Okay. You know, things things did fall off and they got kind of bad, but you know, you would think that guys are bringing guns in the locker room and flashing them around in the locker room as bad as the media made it. But yeah, things things do need to be fixed and some changes need to be made, and we will make those in off season. Rex, uh, you know, we had Rex obviously in Baltimore, so mm-hmm. we, your, your coach is familiar to us. Um, you, do you like that style? Do you like the bravado? Do you like the fact that guys are free to be men can be men and we can say whatever we want? Do you like that? LT has come out in the last couple of weeks and said, I think we did a little bit too much of it. Do you, but, and that maybe just wasn't his style. Yeah. you like that yourself? Yeah, I think each individual is different. Myself, I like it. I feel like you know, a lot of people feel like it's putting a target on our backs, but I feel like it's just our coach has our back. He has so much confidence in us. And if you do have that confidence, then why don't you say those things? And uh, you know, we love Rex. We love Rex to death, and we don't want him to change one bit. You guys are here with 1-800-Flowers, and Valentine's Day is coming up, and most of us don't start thinking about what are we going to get until about the 12th of February, mm-hmm. right? So we're going to not only start Chris McCann's here with 1-800-Flowers, you and Dustin hanging around. Now, you you, you don't use 1-800-Flowers, do you? Uh, yes, I, I definitely do, especially <laughs> now with uh, my man, he's the president, Chris McCann. He yeah. says he's going to hook me up, going to make this the best Valentine's Day for my, my wife ever, and he, I mean, he's the love guru. He's a love guru. He knows what to do on Valentine's Day. He takes well, care of business. Not only that, Dustin, I, I'm your love coach, and I can only be who I am. I have a certain style. So if you follow my advice, I guarantee you we're going to the Super that, Bowl of love. Oh, <laughs> no, the Super Bowl of guarantee. Love. Yeah, right. Well, flowers do work. Uh, that is one thing for sure, right? Flowers. It's like the oldest trick in the book. Oh, no question. You know, when, you're, when you stayed out a little bit too late the night before, and you're like, all right, what can I do? Flowers always work. The more the merrier. Right, Chris? They, they do. They always put a smile on your face. Tell me, so tell me what you guys have going on for, for uh, this special or this Super Bowl? Well, there was some research done, uh, and last year, two-thirds of women were left unsatisfied on Valentine's Day. Well, of course Day. they were. They were left unsatisfied. <laughs> of course they were. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not our ladies. It's not our ladies, of course, right, but right, right. No, two-thirds of them were. So we put together this uh, Valentine's Day, the 1-800-Flowers.com playbook, and it has a complete game plan, has a penalty-free guide, just to show you how to go about going things, whether it's you know, buying flowers for your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, at home, at work, whether you're taking her out to dinner, whether you're, whether you're making dinner for her, and you got to do the dishes. Those got to do the dishes. Holy cow! Nope. What else we got to do for? You got you got to take care of business. You know, otherwise, you're gonna be in the doghouse yeah. till the next year. Yeah, See, this is why I stay single this time. Yeah, right, See? right, right. See? Oh, well, no, <laughs> that's that's because now you have to send multiple Valentines. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it just gets more expensive. Well, good stuff. One eight hundred flowerscom If you want to check out their uh, the Valentine's playbook, and it also has avoid costly penalties in there, so it'll it'll teach you how to. Uh, It'll teach you how to avoid being in the sin bed, as they would say in the, the dog house. In, the, in, the, in, the, in the hockey business. Hey, um, all this talk, Dustin, about safety in the league and the head injuries and all that other stuff. And, you know, you've seen the hit on ESPN 175 times the night Ray, Ray got you in the uh, yeah. first, first game in the Meadowlands. Um, you know, from a player standpoint, all of you guys sitting around in the locker room, as, is the league, seems like every week, uh, some guys getting fined. This hit counts. That wasn't a bad hit. This was a good hit. Where are you guys at with all that? I mean, it seems like there's such a fine line right now with, I see hits all the time, and I'm like, holy hell, that guy's head almost got knocked off, and there yeah. wasn't even a flag. Then I see other hits, and I'm like, really? $50,000 for that? Yeah, I mean, I think the referees have a real tough job. You know, it's based on their opinion where they throw these flags. But, uh, I mean, it depends whether you ask an offensive player or a defensive player. I think they're a little tight on the rules. I think that they can let us play a little more loose. But at the same time, they're just trying to prolong our careers, and you got to appreciate that at the same time. And it, look, and it looks like now in the postseason that they've they've swallowed the whistle and they've put the flags a little deeper in their pocket. Yeah. It looks like yeah, you're definitely. not seeing as many penalties for yeah. sure. Definitely. And does. as a player, my guess is you would probably rather have it that way. Oh yeah. Right. Definitely. You'd rather, you know, well, if I'm going to hold, uh, you know, it's okay. I, my guys are going to get held on the next series. So. Yeah, exactly. You know, the game's going to be. You can't make any excuses like that. As long as they're calling it the same way on both sides, then it's an even game. Now, Dustin, you're talking to a radio station from Baltimore. Joe Flacco, I lots, <laughs> lots of scrutiny. He's been under both locally and the national media. But your quarterback, Mark Sanchez, much maligned. Lots of doubters have spoken out against him. 
playing in New York, just tell a little bit about what he goes through, and then just offer your assessment on him, you know, what you like about him, what maybe he needs to grow in as far as his development as a quarterback to get you guys to that next level. Well, yeah, I think Mark and Joe are in very similar situations. When you have the type of defenses that both of our teams do, and they're just playing lights out, and when you have less expectations of your offense, and the quarterback, right, he's just going to get so much scrutiny, and that's how it is Mark. I know the same way with Joe. And regardless of how he plays, it always seems like you always need a little bit more. And that's, that's been the problem with Mark. And really, when you're within the organization, you see Mark is actually more consistent than most every guy on the offense. But it's the pieces around him that could be a little more consistent. I know myself as a tight end, receivers, running backs, and they feel the same way. We could definitely be more consistent for Mark. What's it like playing in New York? I mean, we hear about the media all the time. I mean, the Baltimore media, we, we've been tough on Flacco, or, or certain members of the yeah. media have been tough on Flacco, but nothing like what happens in New York. It's nothing like New York. I mean, you look at it right now, we're, we didn't even make the playoffs this year. We are unfortunate enough that we didn't make the playoffs. But we're still all in the media. You know, we're still always talking about us, and that's just the New York market. That, that's how it goes. Granted, we had some situations go wrong towards the end of the season and gave the media a little bit of ammo, but... I mean, that's, that's what we signed up for. We knew what we were getting into when we came to New York. Coming back home, huh? I just realized that. I went to your wiki page, Lafayette. I knew you went to yep. Purdue, but I didn't realize you were an Indiana kid. So this Super Bowl's got to be got to be pretty cool for you, right? It Too is. bad you weren't playing. Yeah, but. it'd be it'd be a little bit nice if you were playing, but it's nice to be back home, be down here, and the Super. It's been great. Every all the accommodations, everything have been perfect, and you can't ask for more. My brother lives here in Indianapolis, so. It's right in his backyard. It's great. But like you said, it'd be a lot better if we were playing there. No doubt. And what do you think about our two tight ends? Or at least the two that are the, the you know the, pr the primary ones? Because Chris Wilson caught a caught a pass in the playoffs. We didn't know who the hell he was. He caught a yeah. touchdown. I'm like, who is that guy? I've been following the team all year. Well, yeah. What do you think about Dixon and Pitta? I think they're great. I think they both are good-sized guys, have great speed. And when you have two tight ends that can do that, just there's so many different things you could do. I know our team, early in the season, we have Jeff Cumberland. A lot of guys don't know about him, but he's a very talented tight end. And he was, unfortunately, he was injured early. But when you have two tight ends out there, you, you just don't know what we're going to do. We, are we going to run it right, run it left? We, we can pass the ball because he's a fast guy, as fast as any receiver. It just makes the mismatches so great. And I know you guys have the same thing in Baltimore with, with your guys. And hopefully they start using them more. I'm trying to think off the schedule. Do we see you guys next year? It was this year where we beat you. What a, no, oh, okay. ah, yeah, 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 I knew, I knew right. sitting at Baltimore table, I was going to get those. <laughs> flowers.com is how you can uh, go online and check out the Valentine's playbook if you want to get in uh, good stead with your girl or if your girl wants to get in good stead with a guy too right Chris that works I mean, we're not yeah right yeah. why don't we get flowers that's a good idea yeah right yeah you're thrilled with yeah, it right? I'd more that business I'm good right 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 <laughs> it's because we'd have to we'd have to pay for our own flowers yeah, <laughs> right, right. double up I mean Chris wants us to right. Chris wants to but you no know, you got we got a gift for the ladies. Yeah, this year, let's not leave any ladies unsatisfied, okay? No, yeah, no. Correct. Yeah, correct. <laughs> uh, I know you guys got to scoot. You're busy. We appreciate your uh, your visit. Well, uh, maybe we'll see you guys in the playoffs next year if you make it. Huh? If, if you guys make it. Uh, yeah. Uh, before you go, you saw both teams playing in Sunday's game. What do you like? Well, I've been asked this question not very many times, about 101. <laughs> I think I, I think it, ask it though. I like... Just say the new team. I'm going with new. And then I you, like... I don't like either team. I think... Yeah. No, I know it's in a dome, but I think it might get rained out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Good stuff. Hey, guys, have a good uh, rest of the day, and we appreciate you stopping by. Thanks Thank you. for having me. We'll see you soon. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.